point of view? I don't make money. <laughs> um, of the last, I don't know, four movies I made, I got paid on one. Um, you have to, in this environment, as a producer, be willing to make no money. And you are the last person that will get paid. You defer everything. And um, the thought of whether you'll ever see that money is probably slim to none. But I still do it because I love what I do. And if somebody told me I couldn't do it anymore, I'd probably jump off the top of the TD Tower. I mean, to be able to make movies is something I've wanted to do since I was nine years old. So that's why I do it. Um, how do I sustain a living? Well, I get hired as a gun for hire to line producer for somebody else's show. And it's like Richie, you know, it's not a, a passionate thing for me. It's I do it because I have to survive. And I have two children. Um, that are my responsibility with my ex-wife. So that's why I do it. Um, but I'm proud of every single project that I've ever been involved in of my own. Um, obviously, one week I'm extremely proud of, and I met Mike on that movie, and we've become lifelong friends, and we continue to make movies together. We did score, and hopefully we'll do one in September, um, his next movie. Um, but you know, the movies that I develop now are the 1.5 million or less, because trying to finance something more than that, you have a better chance of getting hit by a bus. Um, and it be more enjoyable. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, less sustained. Now, you know, there are projects, I mean, I'm, I'm involved in a project right now um, with a gentleman named Sean Sisterna, who's sitting over there with a nice red baseball cap. We, um, I met Sean at a uh, uh, film circuit um, showing in Orangeville of one week. And Sean came up to me and he said, you know, uh, you probably get this all the time, but I have a really great script and I'd love for you to read it, and if you're interested, I'd love for you to be involved in it. And we talked a bit about it, and he sent it to me and I read it immediately, and I said, I called him and I said, I think this, the general idea from page one to whatever is really great, but it needs a lot of work, and if you're really willing to commit yourself to develop this with me, we need to develop this on our own without funding because we can't afford however much money this movie is going to be made for, which is a million or less, we are, you know, we can't be development heavy. We have to just develop, take the chance and hope that we get the movie made. Well, Sean and the writer Rob Lazar, basically we, we workshopped the script for about a year and a half. And then we went into everybody, including um, Harold Greenberg Fund, to get production money. And we got turned down by everybody. Which was really devastating, um, but um, I mean, it has it's part of the deal. It's part of the deal. I mean, that's the risk you take. So, you know, we said, um, well, we got to figure another way of making this movie. And I get a phone call from Sean saying, yeah, we're shooting in two weeks, and uh, the budget's fifty thousand dollars, and we're going to do it. And I said, sounds good to me. Let's do it. We rock and roll, and with the help of Tasso back there from Actra and the Actra Chip program, which I tell you is a very, very important program for our industry um, and his strong belief in making indi indigenous films. Thank you, Tasso. We made the movie and uh, we're in post right now. We'll be finished at the end of June and we'll have made the movie beginning to end for under $75,000. And you look at this movie and you swear we made this movie for somewhere between one and two million. And we have, it's an actor movie, we have really great actor, actor members that are in it. We had a passionate crew of maybe 10 people. Um, and I'm very, very proud of the film. We own all the rights and we're going to sell it for millions and we're all going to be out of it. <laughs>